Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. Uh, we're going to be carrying on now with our Master of the Arsenal. This is he. Remember him? Guess what I've done. I've given the back a bit of a spray. So, the next job. What I want to do is... I know the cape, the back of the cape, is already black, but that's the primer. And I want to go over it with paint. I don't want to keep it just the primer. So, I'm going to go over on the back of the cape with the Abaddon Black. Just to make sure I've got everything. And then I think I'm going to do the scales. Red, orange, like flame. And that piece of the, uh, the cape should be the grey lining. So I'm going back to that. And I'll wash my brush out first of all. I'm going to change brushes because it's not a big, um, it's not a big area to paint. So I'll change brushes to a finer one. That way, I won't be running the risk of painting over any of the black. There we are. So it's This is the uh, that's the line. It's where the cape's folded over itself, as you can see. So there we go. That's the main bit done for base coating, etc. Now we're going on to the paler colours and we're using as always goblin green. And I'm trying to keep away from the uh the areas we've just painted. Obviously, and I'm also trying to keep away from edges so that the um, so that the dark angel's green can show through. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we've got to at least try. De dum, de dum, de do. It looks as though there's a bit of flash in there, but it's it's not it's not moving. Okay, so a bit more the green, a bit more the green, and the green that goes on there is okay because it's going to be covered over with gold. That's going to be more green. The bits on the back will get done and the green he get it'll get washed over with the Agrax earth shade same as normal but I will only go over the front parts of the green again as a highlight rather than um, 
going over all the areas in green. Because once I go over the Agrax Earth Shade, that will dull the colour down enough that I can go over again in the same colour and it would act as a further highlight. Yep. And almost finished with this. There's not much to do now, it's just the top of his chest plate. Oops. The top of his chest plate. Just this little area here. belt or what I call the belt anyway this part of his arm with his elbow pad part and finally for the main model the um, oh no I've got the what this part to do yet, haven't I? What I will do is I will go over all of this shoulder pad, but when I come to highlight again, I will just go over the higher area of the shoulder pad because you've got two separate stages to the edging of this where it's where I'm doing green now and I think I'm going to pick out just the top edge. If you can see there now, you've got. In fact, I'll use. Um, I use my finger tool. And you've got the top area which has the little lumps on, and then you've got another area at the side which doesn't. Hope you saw that. So I was trying to speak then with brushing my mouth because for some strange reason I thought it was a good idea to do like a commentary with a brush in my mouth like a cigar. And unfortunately with not smoking it's not something, with never having smoked, it's not something I'm used to doing. <laughs> yeah well. Um, okay I'll just rinse this out and I'll, I'll go through again what I was saying. Right, these, I'm hoping you can see this part here now, when it focuses, there you go, as you can see there, you've got a ridge there which has little lumpy bits on and then you've got a flat part that runs down there which doesn't have any ridges or anything on. So what I'm going to be doing is once I've gone over the Agrax Earth Shade, I'll go over the raised areas of this with the um, actually I think I'll use scorpion green for that because it will bring it out a little brighter but that's not looking too bad as yet, if I say I've missed a little bit there surprisingly enough Stephen misses some <laughs> brushes a little bit water but never mind Dried it properly from. I have to go over that. I'm going to go over that shoulder pad again because I'm not happy with the way that's looking. I'm going over with um, the Agrax Earth Shade, but I still want a decent or half decent coverage on this. And I'll do that area as well there. And there. Just go over there again because it's not really bright. There we are. Um, what's next? So I'll get the Agrax Earth Shade out. Um, and give it 
then going over with that. That's an old oil. I may want that a bit later, but as for now, nope. The black earth shade is there. Alright, so let's just make sure that yeah, it's it's dried. Which is more than can be said for the brush. <laughs> Okie cokey. There we go. And you've seen me do this quite often, so um, I was going to stop the camera, but I'm not because once I've done this bit, I'll give the, the scales um, a dry brushing with uh, with a bit of red. is I'm going to put that and press the helmet in the press the helmet in the um, sticky tack and then I can paint the glove quite easily and and then it's just this glove now that needs doing. and then leave to dry. So that's that part done. I'm really undecided. I'm sh I have the bright side here of red but I'm not sure now. So I'm going to have another stick with green. No, I'm going red. I'll go red. I'm just hoping that it's going to be Interesting, good. I should have used 
smaller bits of green stuff and made more scales but then again saying that it was hard enough job doing that one <laughs> it's fiddly okay so I can't do anything more now with this until the um, Agrax Earth shade has dried I tell a lie I, I tell you I tell you wrong what we can do with this is get a little bit of the red on the point of the brush and just gently if we can do it oh, this is not something I really like doing eyes which is my I tend to not bother but hopefully I've got red and rough with the right area that'll do near enough's good enough a blind man on a galloping horse at midnight with no lights on wouldn't notice unfortunately you will not be the one who looks at it, it could be everybody else. <laughs> Never mind. So, what have we got done so far? The sword has been uh, base coated with um, tin bits. All the armour has been painted with green, goblin green, and had a wash with Agrax Earth Shade. The metal parts, like the sword, have gone over with tin bits. Um, I've done the cape, I've done the cape in blue, again the tin bits all over the armour and the scales on the back of the cape in red. So let me know what you think and until next time take care, God bless and bye for now.